the reverend said until he got to a disco a gas school sorry rivers right you used to fall sick and all that once i gave somebody a lift a master student at ug then and he said he was one in one of these top tier SS high schools in Ghana when Freemasons came to initiate them and he was one of them. There are people in schools like this. They are not even allowed to hear the word of God till they leave the school. There are children younger than you who have been initiated into all forms of occultism and witchcraft. God purposely brought you to this school because he has a plan for you to position you for the future that he has for you. And just about a month before you depart, what mark are you living here? So I picked only three scriptures, just three. And I'm going to be brief because my intention was that by 9.30 we are gone and I go to church. Psalm 112, one and two. Reverend, if you have it, you can read for us. Psalm 112, one and two. Stand out for God's blessings. See, even those who go to the lesser gods, huh? I feel so I'm on for drawing go. I'm on for punching go. But be to me the quiet in the band in the man make rock go. Because in the realms where we are operating, you have to give something to get something. So and grass, some of these say David niyango pon shira na na maniagia. You don't know what David gave. David niya pam ni se ongo tine urem no ongo u. And so then, you go to one sister, but people say, "True, baby, you go to one sister." Psalm eighty nine twenty. I say, "I have found my servant David, and I have anointed him with my own oil." How come David had a lot of brothers at home, but it was not any of them? Because David did not behave like you and I. He set himself aside, so God could not rest. He said, "I have blessed you. I have anointed him with my own oil, and his kingship." Will be like the sun, it shall never fall. And anybody who rises against him shall fall flat at his feet. How many of you want God's blessings? Tell me, show, hand, show your hand and let me see. I mean, that, that your children, all of you. But is this the way to get God's blessings? At the point, your teachers were even chasing you with sticks, but you were not badging. After all, the enemy baby is cool. The life out there. Do you know why I don't even want to be introduced? Because when I finished O level in 1994, I had to tell my friend, Jack, so I'm for shoe mama and go I went home with one, two pairs of trousers and one shoe from a friend. Recently I met him in London and I was reminding him, Do you remember what you did for me? Do you remember? So who am I to stand here and be introduced? You are now stepping into a world. And it doesn't matter. You are be and papa was coming in. It's one fan, one man, you go point in a bra when you in here. You are be and you fear, you are watch your baby. And so so then you are going to point your see baby. It doesn't matter where you are now. What matters and God wants me to tell you, my brothers and sisters, and that stand out. And how do you stand out? Stand out from what the world is doing. The info conversations. Girls, let me try dressing. I'm going to be dressing this skirt. I'm going to Sorry. I'm wondering. This is junior high. I'm going to be investing. I'm going to You come to our lecture house naked. But the tomorrow that you want, the future that you want, it starts from now. A wise man said, 
that great men when their friends slept they toiled do you know my age I don't tell my age but for a reason do you know my age I'm 45 years tall as I am but when I look at when I was pulling my suitcase to serve you also training college and when I went to the university, it's like yesterday. It's like yesterday. Today here am I. 15 years retirement if Jesus does not come. And I'm not even sure 15 years, but you will still be here. Every promise here, prophecy has been fulfilled. But if he doesn't come, 15 years from now, when some of you will be in your prime, you see me as an old man on retirement. Life is so short. The only way to make meaning out of your life at this age is to be like someone when the sons of Eli were corrupt. He said, not me. See, as for me and my household, we shall serve the Lord no matter what. For some of us, we have been hungry before. But you know what is funny? When I met my friend in the UK in May this year, the same type of shoe he gave me is still in vogue. I gave one to somebody. I've worn it for just about three times. And I said, you know what the Lord has done? 19 years down the line, what you did for me, today God has blessed me to do it for somebody too. I didn't even know I'll meet him. What I'm telling you is that it's not because I'm special. It's because I set myself aside. So today, at least, I have two shoes to give one out. Because you have to stand out. Psalm 112. Psalm 112, verses 1 and 2. Praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in His commands. Their children will be, will be mighty, in the land, the generation of the upright will be blessed. Amen. Which which version are you reading? NIV. I want the version that says, I was glad when they said, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Listen. Asofo, you finished investing which year? 2017. There are some of your mates whom we call sharks. And never run one more ever. Some are dead. Some didn't struggle. For us, we struggled to make the marks that we made, the average marks. Some didn't even need to learn. They still got distinction. But because Christ was not in them, today we cannot find them. I always tell people, when I finish writing exams, the angels go and add up. I don't know what I write. But because there is a God in heaven that I have devoted myself to, I cannot be a failure. And that is what I declare over your life this morning. If you will stand out, I know when I watch you, by, by just looking at you, I know some of you have gone astray, some of you have gone deep. I can tell, I mean, the appearance where I say, I don't do I'm not a prophet. But what was going to come was no good. Some of you have done things. You. Some of you have done things that are unthinkable. I won't mention it here. But let me tell you, if you run back to the Father today, if you put him at the center of your life, if you make him your all in all, as the No, I can't keep quiet. If there is anyone here who has ever attempted an abortion, God says, if you do it again, when we, you are when we, your covenant is ceased. I I can't hide it. Those of you sitting here, we don't need to know. And when God wants me to point you, give me the name. I don't even want to know. But listen to this word. If it happens again, when you 
when you are old. Some 42 and 112 because I'm a bit emotional this morning, but it's fine. But all that I want to tell you, please, is that in all you're doing, one thing that you should desire is the house of God. Listen, when I was sitting here, a lot of things were going on through my mind. If we had heard Jolo or the screeching of a car wheels, yeah, you are, you are not an MTT, you are not an engineer. But without the blowing of a whistle, in less than a minute, all of you will be there. If somebody has shared any bad thing about any slave queen on social media, without announcement, in a minute, you all be getting it and you'll be watching it and laughing. But when it was time to register your presence in the house of and I know yesterday I was at the funeral, and what people were complaining about is preaching in Watoto. But when they started playing Soroku, people even didn't see the time mm -hmm. going. That is our time. What else can you do with your time? You can't buy a car for God. You can't even buy this drum for God. It's your time and your heart. So in the book of Romans 12, 1 says what? Paul says, I beseech you, brethren, offer your whole bodies a living sacrifice. I'm not angry with you, but I want you to understand that even as you are preparing for exams, we know a lot of people that teaches even mark. If nobody gets A in my class, this one will get an A. It will come and they are flying with C. Because what happens in the examination room is not what you see. We have seen people who get to examination room and they get blackout. They don't remember anything. When we were doing O level in our village school, we had one friend, accounting, he was the best. Those times, old level, the older ones, you remember, you do paper one, and then you come and do paper two. This man did paper one, went to take a nap, and then that was it. By the time he woke up, and strangely, it was a small school, we had only one boy's dormitory like this, then, strangely, everybody forgot him. So he couldn't write paper two. My children, it's time. Give it to God. I don't want to talk about the revelations I'm getting. The good thing is that no matter what you have done with your life, I have been very spoiled before. My mother even gave up on me. But when God came into the equation, oh, things changed. You have not gone too far. Jesus is in our midst and He's ready to receive you. Now if you read Jeremiah 29, 11, what does it say? Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, I know my plans for you. Plans of what? Plans that are good. Plans that will prosper you. And what I like, the way it ends is what I like. That unexpected end. I brought my kids to this school because I know they have good management, they have good tuition, but it does not guarantee the plans I have for them. But the good news is that Jesus is saying his plans for you is an expected end. It means he will not fail you. It means whatever he has said about you will come to pass. 
it means he will be there with you along the way till the very end. And that's what he told the apostles when he was living, that I will be with you till the end of time. You and I will not be there until the end of time, but he will be there. And so my children, today, I'm here to encourage you, though I'm emotional, that is not late. We have people who didn't even know how to write their names. But when they allow Jesus into their lives, they excelled. I wrote O level two times. I got seven in months. I had to write it again. And when you see my O level results, I still have it. I'm not throwing it away. It's five, three, five, three, five, three, five, three. When I was in secondary school, I was the youngest. Training college, I was the youngest. When I went to the university, I was one of the oldest. Because I went to the university at the age of 24. When people were already finishing with their masters. Hello. Hi. But because I had encountered God at that time, between a 25 and 30 something, he gave me two diplomas, he gave me a master's, he gave me a doctorate, non-stop. It just continued. And he's going to do that for you. Amen. By the time you are 25, if you let him in, if you let go all the bad friendships and the bad things you have been involved in, and surrender to him. By the age of 25, you accomplish what he used me to accomplish at the age of 37. And the Bible says, good children are like arrows in the hand of their fathers. May you be arrows in the hands of your parents. In this corrupt world, may the Lord look up from heaven and ask, have you seen my daughter? Have you seen my son? He's part of those I have preserved to save the world and bring light to the world in these end times. Be on your feet. Kids to come here. Can we allow them to come here?
Your dew of heaven. Yes, Lord. Your anointing. Oh, your anointing. Your anointing. Your anointing. Your anointing. Away. Ah! Your anointing, Lord, oh, is falling. And now everyone here, take it. Amen. Take it. Mm. Take it. Receive. Take it. Receive.
and you are wearing a sign. How many of you are left? How many of you are left? Madam, are you part of them? Come. Now the five of you, if you have accepted Christ, this is a divine mandate God calls me. I don't normally go free call. What do you call it? Altar call because I minister in the midst of pastors and all that. What God gave me and I do every time I stand is that if you have accepted Christ and for a reason you think your work with him has not been as it should be, you can come here and I'll pray with you. We are ready to go here. But if you think it is as it is, you can sit down. So here is for those who have not accepted Christ at all. You have never accepted Christ. <laughs> so you have all accepted Christ. Yes. But why did you come here? Yes. Huh? At all. Yes, no. In Christ, there is nothing like halfway. If you have never accepted Christ, <laughs> if a no pastor or your church has, they have not called you to come and accept Christ, that's what I'm talking about. There is nothing like at all. When you be busy, you need to be busy. That year for here, have you accepted Christ? It's not about you and your friend. Heaven, you don't do that. But where? You have never had the opportunity to stand before any man or woman of God to say, I accept you as my Lord and Savior and all that. Okay, then come here. Maybe your church thinks you are young, but you are not young. Maybe your church thinks you are young, so come here. Don't be confused. All of you have you ever raised your hand? You don't remember? Huh. These are events you never finish. You, I mean, you never forget. Yeah, bro. Yeah, class. Sorry. The value is the same. Okay, no, it's not me. Lucy, I just you needed it for the time. Oh, okay. Who's calling this? Hello. So, Papa, these ones are for you. Okay. The rest of you, hold my hand. Let's make a circle now. Quickly, let's make a circle now. Let's make a circle quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly. Come on. the move of your spirit, for the power and the fire that you are creating in our nation. From today, hold these ones and let them run away free from all forms of sin. And Father, use them for your own service from now on. And right here in the book of life, enable them to do your business. 
they will know or see your work in your life. Trust and they will know it even at all times. Your healing power, Lord, your healing power, your deliverance. 